Okay guys, so check it out. African American artists may start enjoying a larger moment in the spotlight after painter Kerry James Marshall's painting Pastimes was purchased for a record $21 million at a recent auction. The purchase became the highest amount ever paid for a work created by a living black artist. Pretty crazy, right? So who forked over the big bucks on this masterpiece? Well, none other than Sean Puff Daddy Combs, of course. His son hinted that maybe Mr. Combs could be looking for a return on his investment. TMZ spoke with Diddy's adopted son, Quincy Brown, who is actually the biological son of famous R&B singer Albie Shore, who said the purchase is only the beginning of a whole new business venture he's looking to get into. Here's a piece of that clip. Now that art world is a different industry. That's no music industry, that's no TV film industry. That's a whole nother industry, so, you know what I mean? That itself should, you know what I mean, tell you a lot, so. Right. Yeah. Is, he, is, is this like the... The next level of his of his career is he's, like he's, he's done it all, accumulating like art. Look, he's done it all. Yeah, what's left? Collecting art, right? And then not even just because you know he's wealthy. You know what I mean, he's doing it for the real. He's actually doing the research. You know what I mean? Right. To step into this world and really be a big dog in the you know. In you think the, he wants to be like have his own Getty Center one day, something like that? Of course. That would be yeah, that's incredible. This is this is this is the first piece to the museum. He's well known in the music industry and even dabbles in film, TV, fashion, and liquor. But can Diddy really do it all? Stepping into the art world is more than highbrow living. It's a major business risk. According to the New York Times, Combs was introduced to Marshall's work by the hip-hop producer Swiss Beats, who is also an art collector. Maybe it's a Puff Daddy featuring Swiss Beats type of collabo we didn't expect. Come to think of it, Jay-Z always talks about buying art, letting it build value over time, and passing it down to his children. Here's a clip of his song, The Story of OJ, from his 444 album. I bought some artwork for one million. Two years later, that shit worth two million. Two years later, that shit worth eight million. I can't wait to get this shit to my children. So maybe this is the new next level hustle. Why flip houses when you can flip artwork, right? And you don't even have to renovate it. You can just let it sit on your wall while it builds value. Nice. So yeah, hit us up in the comment section and let us know what you think of Diddy's latest business venture. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to check out our daily hip hop news videos and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And as always, for more music and news, be sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.